What's up guys, this is the Rifleman, and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off on my last time, we had the Great Siege of Nerun, where I managed to violently hold off many, many stacks of... of, uh, uh Mughal Empire troops. And I've got a nice, almost brand new stack in there ready to defend, and this stack under Radimir Dob uh, Dobchev, who I'm pretty sure is the one who did the, uh, the actual defending, he has fall back to request and recuperate. Whereas this knackered force is being chased down by my f unit of cavalry for some reason. Probably want to move you up, even though you are very knackered. Right, so I've got 10,000 10, coins, and I'm going to continue my push down into India. Um, uh, this army's up on the move. Have a peek. Lahore's pretty exposed. I'm going to wait for uh, this force to get up so I can capture um, Kashmir and Lahore, um, Srinagar and Lahore in one fell swoop. Because I want to be in a, ready, in a strong position to push on the next line of uh, Mughal fortresses, hopefully pushing up to the river. Is this the, is this the river Gujarat? Well, the Gujarat region. I don't know my Indian rivers, I'm afraid. And then what I also did have, or what I would like to do... So do I have an army running down from Moscow? There. Okay, so the idea is to get him to Crimea. Upload him to a global trading company as it's my main port. Let's embark this fleet. Sail them to... Uh, Latika, L L Latakia are probably quickest because I've got a road to Baghdad. Yeah, that's definitely the quickest. Cool. Then disembark. This army will then hightail it down to Basra. Then what I would like this army to do is to go down and attack Ceylon. And then start uh, my war. I am at war with Britain, but start to lay the seeds of discontent uh, in the rear of the Mughal position. Um, now I've spent all my money on that global trade thing, Majig. I can, I would like to build another army in Moscow. By the looks of it, I need to. Uh, It'd be great if I could finish teching pretty soon. Oh, one more turn, so I've got quick climb. Excellent for the Indian campaign. Um, steam engine, is that critical? Probably not as critical as a water mill. Light infantry doctrine. Let's get some, start getting skirmishes involved. What do I get? Riflemen? I do get riflemen. Bohemian Grenzers. Very long range. Interesting. Uh, so, not bothered about. Can I? Hmm. I don't use formations enough when using cavalry as a general rule. I need to get better at that. But I don't think, I really don't think, steam engines are critical at this point. They're handy for... They're handy to get... Um, and they're like pretty much of a linchpin if you're in a naval uh, region to get steam, uh, steam dry dock. But I'm not really naval power. So I'd probably rather take... Would take power loom? Probably would. Um, more money, more wealth generated. Population growth. I think I do want to go power loom. That's more of a priority. Uh, freeing the slaves. Abolition of slavery, sorry. Lower classes love me. Upper classes dislike me, which is good because I'm an absolute monarchy so that's kind of the bonuses I would like to have yeah let's just stick with that I need the bonuses more than I need the money Even yeah 27 grand is actually a lot of money the George doesn't like me because I have a university in that region but that's okay Sweden still being Sweden see I don't know how to do what to do with this I don't know what's happened it's giving me this burning burn uh, uh, Brigadier in Sweden, but I don't know what to do about it. 
anyway, Europe itself is holding on and doing its own... What's it holding on? It's doing its own thing, which is lovely. Do I have walls here? I do have walls here. So one order of business would be to recruit a garrison force in Egypt, recruit a garrison force in Palestine, and shift this full army eastwards, probably to support the push down into Ceylon and land and take Calcutta or somewhere else. Am I war of the French? I am a war of the French. Am I war of everyone? Pretty much. I'm allied with my European neighbours, which are the neighbours I'm bothered about. Can I get any more trade? Nope, not even if I ask for peace with... 185, I very much doubt it. And they're allied with everyone anyway. Let's see then turn. Got some reinforcements. But yes, my push into India. I feel pretty I, pre I feel pretty secure in Europe with all these allies on my back door. I do not like that British amphibious force in the London docks. Do not like that at all. But that's where I've got quite a few reasonable stacks ready to respond. Hmm. Let's just jig my microphone a bit. Oh, I thought they might be coming for another attempt at a siege, but it looks like they're just heading north. Super. You could just nicely heard someone drop a load of glass bottles outside the window. Well, downstairs and downstairs outside. Oh, here comes another stack for uh, for another siege battle. Oh, don't be that guy. Take a town in the rear zones. It's fair the enough. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has yet to be exploited. Ceramics factory, fascinating. But critical, critical piece. Well, first, as I'm near you move you up is this debacle that's about to happen because I don't think I can stop them. okay well if I leave all my guns behind get a bit closer well, either way you guys replenish and head back to here because you're going to be uh, needed Then this army here. You get down to Basra, you recruit. You got two turns to get there, so recruit a fourth rate. Okay, so if I leave remove this army, they still like me, so you sit outside Basra. It'll take them a long time. But let's recruit a garrison and I'll probably get some two years of colonial. Three units of native, two not not guards, militia, and then a howitz unit. I need it needs to be a reasonable size. And one unit of hand mortars because they're just good fun. Um, I need to have a reasonable size because this is kind of my western flank. And then let's get you just some. Like I want to have a reasonable force around here because I won't have any armies in this region, and I would like. Um, the arms I do have here to be fairly responsive. If we've got metal roads. Okay, 12% tax, 12% tax. Oh, I've got an army. Oh, he's got an interesting face. Adam Lobov. But let's get ready. You're all reinforced up. The walls may still be broken. The is they may all loop around here. So ultimately, one of these armies might actually instead have to, might have to be delivered by ship here to do, to provide another stack to support me in the south. Be you. Let's move up. Hmm. Whoa! Hold on. I see you. And I see you. Hmm. Maybe it's sit you on a hill. Wait for this army to come up and reinforce. And let's go back to Moscow. Okay, so you've got foot guards, grenadiers. Good. Get them in and recruited. Let's get two units of household cavalry. Ooh, field marshal. 
Okay, Lance of Guards, you're uh, Two units of guard, horse artillery. One unit of heavy horse howitzers, because they are very, very good. And let's get some... Do you mean 12 pound of field artillery? These would be more than adequate to bash down the siege, to bash down um, walls. It's got a good hand long grenadiers at the minute. Troops in the line. Good, and their provision for what can I build? Engineer school. Let's do it. I want some. Ooh, can oh, can I already get that? Six pounder, twenty-four pounder, twelve six, thirty-two pounder. How it's a no, but damn it, I want that. The czars. Great cannon, 64 pounder heavy artillery. Almost immobile. Fair enough. But if I'm using them to knock down walls, that sounds good enough to me. Cool, that's the Moscow force. Then I could, to be honest, I could probably do with still recruiting. Ooh. Right, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start recruiting an army down here then. To crew two or well, one unit of horse artillery down here, and that will be the core of another army, which I will also send in this direction. Should have upgraded that in Damascus. Okay, so they will probably temporarily hold this region, and I don't think they'll destroy anything. We'll stop building that for a start if they're going to capture it. And use that to build. Well, actually, build um, build the next level government building in in uh, Damascus to make sure that they stay super happy with me. Cool. And then let's get this sloop back up to Crimea, where it will be joined by a fourth-rate ship of the line. Sweet. You're doing diamond formation. I'm not bothered about but to be honest I'm not really bothered about optimizing this in general now I need to read to buff out this army really so let's get a unit of no let's see if I can get some light cavalry I can get two units of colonial light good Ultimately, I do need to start pouring armies in this direction. Cause this is how the uh, AI gets you, is India. Workers on strike in Georgia. Fine, exempt from tax. 20 slash 16 predicted because of my happiness research about freeing the slaves. Lovely jubbly. Good. At least that British amphibious force has not moved closer to my shores. I need to keep moving fresh troops into India. Because they batter you down. Sure, they take huge casualties, but then they regroup and they'll attack again before you have a chance to... Ah, uh... oh, Ottomans... Yes, call my allies to help. Yes. Sorry, the Ottomans, you've done it now. I've been nice to you. I've pushed up and let you have some autonomy in Greece. I gave you your freedom. Okay, let's let them... Ah... Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. But you will not hold on to it forever. And I'm happy to let them raid around this region. I've got the there armies on the field. This region that has not, yet been developed. Select the type of port not port upgrades just yet. First things first. India. So you... 
move up to there. You come back down here. Can this army run up to Kashmir? It can, and it'll take Kashmir. Cool. Then let's have this thing just kind of sit here recruiting infantry to funnel in um, fresh infantry. It's not as good as my line infantry, but at least it's full strength. Okay, so enemy raid in the wetlands. Fine. Enemy raid in Kalachi. Fine. Enemy raid in Baluchistan, which they captured, but that's fine. Cool, light infantry. Trade of the Ottomans has been cancelled. That's kind of lame. Oh, good. Lots of economic upgrades. Okay. So I'm losing. I'm starting to lose my all important trade. So what's become more important is to invest in my tax base. So let's just do some road building. Just in case there's anyone that doesn't have roads. Because ultimately, at this point, um, roads, like even this, which was a worthless territory, I think, pretty much at the start of the game, it is starting to earn me a few thousand each turn, but it only does that if you give it the money. Riga, you can have roads. Okay, so the Ottomans. Well, I think you're probably going to get attacked from me then. When I can build an army over here. This thing, I need to start sucking the wealth out of India, as the colonial British did, pretty quickly. But, because I've not had I've not had a battle for a long time, I think I'm going to try and lay siege to... La well, actually, I'm going to maintain siege for now. See if I can get them to attack me, because I don't want to face all those mortars. So I'm going to lay siege to it, force them to come out and try to fight me, have Ivan Mazipa go secure Kashmir, it should take one turn. Then the efforts to get this army to Baghdad. They'll get there next turn. This army will get there in a few turns. They're all recruiting in a they're all getting into position. Good. To be honest, some militia probably aren't a bad idea fighting against India. Wow, is that where you're going? No. You head in this direction. I didn't know you could recruit convent colonial line infantry. I need to recruit loads of you and just have you completely just keep pumping them into this region. Or at least shipping them out to a ship. Actually, that might be a good idea. Get these four threats over to Basra. Cool, you're already right. Hit end turn. Where what other stupid recruitment decisions are gonna be made? Ultimately I try make I might try to make peace with the Great Britain. Because while they do have Calcutta, I'd think it'd be more worthwhile for me trying to make peace with them and trying to capture Calcutta. Okay, is that an amphibious assault? Nope. Must be very, very curious about what the AI does during end turns. Okay. Critically, at least I will have quick lime shells. Right, they might be going for Kashmir. They might be going for a uh, 
not Kashmir, um, Afghanistan. So I need to. Ah, they are they are attacking me. Cool. Good. So I'll deploy back, get the mortars out, annihilate them. Then next turn I'll be able to storm them fairly easily. But the, if they're trying to go troops for capture, Lahore, they might. Then I'll feel pretty secure. Then I'll capture um, Kashmir up to the uh, to the northeast, and then if they do for it, I'll bring that army back down and start to sweep up um, some of the armies in the gaps. But I'm feeling very... That, that one army to the south is looking very isolated, so I might have to re... my, my big Russian army, my region, in order to actually protect that settlement. So what I definitely don't want to do is deploy up. So deploy right up against the back. Well, maybe not quite at the back. I need to, I need some space to put my howitzers in. Which now have quick climb shots. Okay, so on this flank, it's like up a hill. I might get some cavalry charges. I'm going to put some of you and my hand grenadier unit my militia unit is going to hold the left with my camel gunners stealthily hidden in the trees my two cavalry units are going to be up here on top of the hill ready to swoop down then my militia are going to just hang over here with my, with my other militia It's not a great firing position for my artillery, but needs must. May as well put my artillery howitzers on round shot if anyone's within range. <clears throat> oh, they are lobbing shells right into the center. Okay, first of all, let's speed up time because don't know what they're doing. I do not like how that mortar battery is moving. That's very uncomfortable. But I do like how this one's wavering. But yeah, this is very, the very uh, AI in a siege battle. Don't quite know what they want to achieve. Particularly as this unit's taking its time to move out, because it might mean they might wait for it. Like, whenever they do decide to form up. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to cut the recording here, and then when they actually attack, I'll bring you guys back. So, just one second. Okay, guys, I was going to uh, <clears throat> just wait for them and see what they're going to do, but instead I'm going to do something a bit impulsive. I am going to blow a hole in the wall... And I'm going to charge my cavalry in, well, my, my entire army, into that breach and take up residence inside their own fortress. Because they've decided to leave it, um, I'm going to run a unit on the walls and have them try run around and capture all the gates. I'm frankly going to do a bit of a strategy I used to do in Rome, uh, Rome 1. Start running. There you go, one more shell. One more shell knocks it down. Get in there, get in there rapidly. Then let's get all my artillery up. 
Obviously my cavalry are going to take some hits. But the trade-off is... Well, I don't know, it's very far away. Either way, if I have to stop and reform my line outside of the walls, I'll at least have knocked out their mortars. Maybe not go in, but I might still... So instead of assaulting that front gate, my camel gun is... Well, no, to be honest, I've seen how much infantry can... how much uh, cavalry battle can bog down a... Let's get my, these militia up on the wall and run them around. Let's get my cavalry there to my militia cavalry there to cover the gate and fire out into it if they want to. Okay, let's dispatch some units to deal with these camel riders. So they will open fire on the camel nomads. They could just have them. Oh, you know what? Camel riders hit those Indian mercenaries. Get some colonial line to cover the gates. Well, actually, I might have to set my... Okay, let's bring these guys around to the right to hold this flank. These are just bowmen, so they should. No, don't fire. Spread out. Gurkhas pull back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get in there and chop them up. Oh no, could have done with firing on as many as you possibly could. Let's 
run these guns still inside, get my... General's bodyguard in the centre of the, uh, the fort. They are winning slightly, which is concerning. That is also concerning, particularly as they're Hindu warriors. Those troops outside may be lost. Those, those guns definitely are. Come on, reload. Take the retreat. I'm open to losing my artillery because this is a successful settlement, although I will set them to retreat if possible. Withdraw rather, sorry. The important thing is to get turn off fire at will. May as well swallow the levy. Siege me now. Let's get you out of the way. <laughs> Pull the old switcheroo. with hardly any camels left. So it meant the loss of my guns, but by the looks of it, some of them are going to get away. Hanmore's company going to get away. How else is it going to get away? Good. Like I said, I was going to just sit and wait for them to come out, but you know, I decided as they're running away from the fortress, then I'll just take it. So the one thing they weren't preparing on, a siege. <laughs> These guys are legging it, but I don't know where they're going to leg it to. Just around the top, I suppose. Okay, so not...
<laughs> uh, guess gonna be militia up there to man the guns to fire down onto them. May as well. Speed up time a little bit. So they're firing up onto the walls, I suppose. Oh, Bowman. So this would be an interesting one. They've <laughs> formed square. Very big square. So see if my guys actually man the walls. They are as well. Well, not not firing their muskets. They are. There we go. It's a hell of a lot of firepower. So yeah, good. Troops are le fleeing the battle towards the city. <laughs> What happens, chaps? You weren't ready. If you leave the fortress, I'm just gonna come on in. Fire quick climb right now, holy moly. Look at that. Because this is how it could work, though. But not with all that mass routing. Or... Shattered. There you go. All of those troops not coming back. To provide fire from inside there and more. We were inside just a minute ago. Why are we outside? As the next assault comes through. Is about to come through. So the loss of artillery is upsetting, but I can get more of that. And I would chase them out, but to be honest, my general is in the central square, so the city should be mine anyway. Go on, let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, the garrison mortars are the only ones left. Oh no, people are coming back. But let's just speed up time anyway, because it's going to be quite a long part. <laughs> They're firing on me from outside the walls, which is totally their prerogative. However, they still have to get me out of their fortress. I don't think they will. And just keep picking away at them. There we go. Off they go. Victory. You damn right it's a heroic victory. We managed to uh, slip into the fort. This is unfortunate, but not critical. Well, maybe in some case. No, still got all my artillery. Not my infantry still in good neck. Oh, right. I think I want to do this. Two mortars. I, do, I think I well, I do want to do this, um, but not during this part because <laughs> we've already gone quite on gone on quite a long time. Right here, guys. We'll see you in the next part for the second great siege of Nerun.